Does it say it's live for you? No, it does not. I just started the broadcast. I don't understand why that. Now it says it. What? Now it says it. Ah, all right. And I still don't see it. That's a load of shit. Yes. I agree. But anyways, enough of the cursing. Uh, what is happening, everybody? This is Music Within Us, the Big ID One, Ian Delvaya, whatever you prefer to call me, as long as you call me. This is my new intro on SoundCloud, by the way, Dr. Tex. Don't don't judge me. <laughs> okay. uh, this is my friend, Dr. Tex. I know him from Facebook. I mean, not Facebook, Film Fiction. Uh, before I left the site, we were, well, we weren't talking very often, but we did speak to each other. We read each other's stories. Yep. Um, and when I left the site, he was just devastated. Yeah, I bet. But I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna talk about that. That's not the reason for this live stream, as you can tell by the title. I will be. Wait, I changed the title, right? Huh? Nope, I did not change the title. It's all good. I can just edit that. Actually, I don't want to edit it because I'm afraid it'll take the live stream off. But anyways, the whole purpose of today, if you read the bio, the, the bio of the video, I will be making a Van Brace inspired by Edward Kenway when he was wearing Duncan Wobble's outfit, which he still does technically. It's just he modified it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do this. I'm going to share... And then I'm going to go here. So if you look here, I have a picture up. And if you look here, I have it zoomed in on the Van Brace. The Van Brace has a bit of a fold over it. It's also got three belts, one of them being attached to the, to the hidden blade. Now, this is actually going to be very useful to me, this entire video, this entire photo. Because I will be inspiring my Van Brace off of that design. I'll be basing it off of that. So we're going to try to create this whole look, but it's going to be very difficult to put on, I would imagine, simply because of this. However, that's an easy fix. I can just make the belts, that the two little belts that go on the top a bit bigger, and then make the belt. Doctor, why are you muted? Because I'm trying to get this computer up. Oh. Oh. All right, well, um, um, the belt. The belt. That, are you watching the live stream now? Oh, I'm I'm attempting to. I, the, my computer has all this stuff from overnight, and I'm just trying to. I'm just telling it to bugger off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So um, so, um this, belt this belt that's attached to the um the, that's attached to the hidden blade. I will be using these Velcro straps. These are modified Velcro straps in the sense that I made them longer by attaching one to the other. Hmm. Now, this is the Syndicate Hidden Blade, so as you can tell, we're not going completely Edward Kenway today. Especially since I broke my Edward Kenway blade. That thing was flimsy as all hell, and the spring was too strong. But anyways, enough of that. We're going to be making this as a modern-day assassin sort of thing. As a concept for a modern-day assassin that I've had for a while now in my arsenal. In my list of characters that don't escape my mind. Um, hold on, I'm gonna close out GarageBand. New track coming out soon, by the way, guys. Watch out for it. Um, so we're going to be, we're gonna get started. So I'm gonna take you guys, bring you over here, where I've already cut out a shape. Hold on. Get out of there, scissors. Uh, I've already cut out a shape for it, as you can see here, out of black vinyl. This is not real leather, it just looks like leather, but it is actually vinyl. You can tell because the underside of it is still smooth, where it should be rough, like real leather. Still very good, it's very high quality vinyl, look at that, look, look at that. It does not tear or anything, it stays firm. I like that. Yeah. So, I've already cut out this shape, it's gonna go on my arm this way. Or, actually, 
since we're making the underside go up this way, because I looked at the photo very carefully, we're going to fold it in half and cut it at a certain angle. This way it gives that, it gives that snugness to the arm. Hmm. Now we've cut out our angle. See? It's going gonna, it's gonna to look a little rough at first, but that's okay, because we're going to cut off a little bit off the top as well. And so we've got a bit of a curve now, but it's all good. It doesn't matter, because we're covering up half of this thing with the more black vinyl. We're, we're going to add like a trimmed edge of red, and then we're going to put white thread in the center to keep it in place. Now here's an interesting fact. Dr. Tex is in this hangout, but he has never played an Assassin's Creed game. That's true. So that's why I invited him. I wanted to let him see what the people of the Assassin's Creed fandom do with their lives. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they spend their time just... They spend their time making things from the Assassin's Creed games. That's what he's learned so far. I'm yeah. impressed. Do the same thing, but with the suit. All right, so now we're gonna lie it flat, like this. Okay, so when I say lie it flat, I mean like this. You don't see the vinyl, do you? Uh, right. I I can barely see anything. It's very dark. All right, maybe that's just my brightness. I don't know. Let me check. Sorry, it's because I'm in the way of the light. You see it better? Okay, yeah, I can. Barely see the vinyl, but I can still see it. It's layered over the, the rest of it. All right, so that we're gonna lie down flat like that. We're gonna cut up to about half of the half because we want it to cover only half, not the whole thing. So we're gonna cut up to maybe 0.25 percent up. I'll explain in a little bit, but I'll show you better. I'll sh better, I'll show you. So, hmm. we're going to mark up to where the van brace is placed, and now we're going to cut up and up to cuts, two and a half cuts actually, and then we're going to take it and mark it like that, just put a little slanted cut, then we're going to go to the other side, do the same thing, one, Two, two and a half, and then slant cut. And now we can start cutting up the piece. We can start cutting the piece out. So we're going to fold it in half, and that's how it's going to be even and symmetrical. Even though there's no such thing as symmetrical, and that's all an illusion. Just kidding. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Conspiracies. All right. So anyway. You might not be. <laughs> um, you see that? It looks a bit like a trapezoid right now, but if we unfold it, it looks like a pentagon now. Hmm. Work with me, Fabric. I know you're. I know you're thin, but work with me. Okay, so we're going to put it on top of the bottom section. Do you see it, guys? I can see it. All right, cool. Now, we've cut out the basic shape already. That's good. Now we take out the red vinyl. See this? This is red vinyl. Same material. Pink underside. Doesn't matter, we're using the red side, so pink underside can go suck my you know what. Um, we're going to be cutting out the the edges. The edges to put on the hemline, I guess. I don't know. I, I'm not a big designer, okay? I don't know the terms for these words and junk. I just know to cut fabric, sew it, and put it together. Mm. Oh, and we might also 
do something interesting. We might make red for the underside part that goes underneath on the top. It goes underneath the main layer. Hmm. Now, you're probably wondering, why are there cuts? I thought this fabric was just bought. It was not. I was using it to make a gift for my mom. I'm making something for my mother. I will probably post a video about it. I don't know. It's probably going to be good. Yeah, it's in case you're wondering, guys, it's a pony plushie. But yeah, just letting you guys for, know. For the, not for the no longer being finished story. Unfortunately, yeah. he had to throw that in my face. What? Well, well. Sorry. <laughs> it's fine. Sorry. It's fine. I was just kidding. Don't feel bad. I currently on the on the live stream and I constantly see my logo popping up. I have no idea why that is. Hold on a second. Where um how exactly are you recording this live stream? Google Hangouts. Like on your like on your phone? Chromebook. Chromebook. Okay. Uh, uh, I think I know a way to fix that. Um, <laughs> I, I know of a way to. Uh, on second thought, no, I don't actually. Well, shoot. I think. I'll be back, guys. I'm not really sure how this works. Whoa. Arts. I'm back, guys. I just needed water. I have absolutely no idea how I managed to do this, but... Alright. Back to cutting. Alrighty. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that it's exactly the same size as the um as the piece we're cutting the shape from and you're probably going to wonder why for those of you who actually know what they're doing um this is because we're only cutting out a thin edge piece of the entire shape that we just recut we're cutting along the edge to get that edge. So we're going to be doing this. Ready? All right. Just now, what I, with my van brace, you can do something different if you want. I'm going to take a three-prong edge. So I'm going to cut that piece off, and I'm left with this. And I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. Now, this is because I like my crap to be decorative. You can do whatever you want with it. You can make it simple or you can make it extravagant. But just know this is for modern day assassin cosplay. So whatever works for your assassin, go for it, mate. All right. So it's a little uneven looking. It's, it's, it's thin on one side and thick on the other, but we'll change that later on. Or right now, if you guys want. Yeah, we'll change that right now, because I'm, I'm looking at it, and I don't like it. And keep trimming, just keep trimming, just keep, 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 keep trimming. If you don't get that reference, get the hell out of my house. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but no one's in your house. Exactly. For all, for all we know, they could be halfway across the country. <laughs> I was on... <laughs> it was a joke. <laughs> Okay, so now it's lied down on top of the piece like this. We're going to sew it with white thread. Now, this is to give it that traditional white-red look, but we're adding black because lately they've been adding black to the Assassin's color schemes. So we're going to stay true to what Ubisoft has been doing. Open up my, my uh, thread box. Take a needle. I'm using embroidery needles. Now, this is because I hate regular sewing needles because their hole is so small that it takes 50,000 tries before you get it into the hole, the thread. 
Had I not said the thread, you guys would have probably put in the comments section that's what she said. So, see, so I've already gotten into the hole. Uh, the, okay, you know what? Now I'm going to say it. That's what she said. <laughs> Finally! No, I'm just kidding. Let's not go that far. Where'd it go? Oh, I dropped the needle. Well, I guess it wasn't in the hole then. Okay, this thread is giving me a hard ass time. I've only like sewn one plushie in my life, and it was a Goomba. That was the only time I actually sewn anything. All right, I'm gonna sit down. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. Hello. Should we invite Palladium to this? Uh, sure. Why not? All right. Uh, do you want to invite him, or should I do it? I'll do it. All right. Thanks. My mind is currently occupied trying to get this thing into the hole. This thread. Okay, so you can. No, that's not what I want to do. No, 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 no. That's not how it goes. Wait, is it how it goes? Oh, there's a button. All right. So while Doctor Tex is inviting Palladium, I've managed to get the hole into the thread. I mean, the thread into the hole. And I'm now tightening a knot so that this way the thread does not come off the needle no matter what, unless I cut it off. Okay, I think I got it. If palladium doesn't come, though, just know that it just might be us, I guess. Okay. I'm going to ask him politely to join. Okay, I just got the notification. Oh. I guess he probably went back to sleep. Most likely. Yeah. All right. He, so I think I think he just remembered the mute notifications button. <laughs> Probably. All right, so now I'm going to make a knot on the other side. This is because you want it to stay secure. You don't want the thread coming out because you forgot to secure it in the place that you started sewing. Mm. In the meantime, who wants to hear your mama joke, guys? Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Are you ready for this, Doctor? Uh, okay, I'm currently bracing myself. For impact? Yes. Cool, because your mama was so fat, they played the boulder in Indiana Jones. <laughs> so you're going to have to brace for impact when she hugs you. Oh, goodness. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Okay. You, combine, you segued my pain into the joke. <laughs> Not as secure. You don't see. There it is. Okay. So we're going to secure one side with our thumb, one side of the fabric where the edge is. We're going to just poke it underneath, poke a hole through with our needle, and then pull the needle out the hole. That's what she said. Okay, this vinyl is kind of tough. Okay, we're making progress. There we go. I feel the needle edge or point. I've been saying edge a lot. Okay. Edge, 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 edge. Edgy the hedgy. Mirror's Edge. <laughs> I love that game. I love that game, too. You know what? I might play it later in the live stream. Hmm. In this live stream? Maybe in another one. 
Edgy the Hedgy. Edgy the Edgehog. Yes. <laughs> so much yes in that statement. Why am I suddenly in the mood to play Sonic Adventure 2? <laughs> because I said Edgy the Edgehog. Well, I was the one that said Edgy the Hedgy. Shut up, watch! That reminds me of Markiplier. Shut up, nurse! You know, my watch decides to interrupt me every hour. Why don't you change the settings? I don't know how to turn the thing off. There are only four buttons on it. There's light, the start and stop for the stopwatch, a reset, and mode. Say that to my fucking face, you faggot. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Say that again. Say that's my fucking face. <laughs> exactly. John Tron. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, John Tron has appeared. What do? Launch him into the air so he's grabbing onto nothing. <laughs> I'm super bad. I believe I can fly. <laughs> All right. So what we're doing right now is we're doing something very different than normal sewing where we just pull the needle out from the other side. We're going to poke the needle through all the way. So what we're doing is I just keep on, whenever I put the needle, whenever I put, <laughs> whenever I put the needle in to the spot that I want it, I poke it slightly through because it's very tough, this vinyl. Then I push down on a surface which pokes the needle through the rest of the way. Hmm. Now, I'm kind of liking the fact that it's a little too short, this edge. No, it's not. It's just that I cut it wrong. Uh, but anyways, we'll just adjust that later. Um, we are doing this because the vinyl is... Wait, what was I talking about? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't either. Moving on! So... Okay, that got stuck behind there. Um, there. I'm sorry if my live streams are a little boring to, you, to some of you out there who are, like, watching, and then they don't watch, and then they watch, and then they don't watch, and then they hope to dear God that I get a sense of goddamn humor. Um, first of all, that will never happen, by the way. Uh... <laughs> Uh, second of all, I just don't like to do anything really except what I intend to do, and that's because YouTube has a lot of trademarks and copyright rules and everything, and so I'm just very nervous as to what would happen if I were to do something in a video and it had to do with something copyrighted already. So forgive me, I'm just very cautious. That's because YouTube is a bitch. Yes, it is. That's why, from now on, whenever I live stream, guys, you want to watch me live stream, go on Twitch. But I will only be doing stuff related to games since Twitch has guidelines involving what you live stream and what you don't live stream. Shut up. Me or the watch? Not Neither. My computer is constantly interrupting me with adverts. Advertisements. Screwing people's lives since 1950-something. That was totally yeah. creepy. Yes. Yes, it was. Shut up, Tex! <laughs> I'm, no, I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> Markiplier's voice. I just choose not to today. Hmm. Because it's like it's 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 hard on the voice. Mm. You go, you want me to do it anyway, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, right. know, I, just, I won't. I won't do it until I'm, you I'm just checking messages. Huh? I'm just checking messages while I live stream. How scandalous! What? How scandalous. I'm checking messages while on a live stream. <laughs> I'm guessing this has happened where people thought it was not a good idea to do that. Ah. 
Okay, you know what? Bang. I don't fucking know. With a homemade hammer. Right now, I'm, I'm using my scissors to push the needle in because I'm sick of having to fold it and then press it and then fold it. You know what? I'm going to have to fold it and press it because it ain't working. Not working with the program. Hmm. Oh, yeah, by the way, there's an eagle. Uh, ow, my neck. The, sorry, guys, I have a crick in my neck. I have an eagle over there. It's from a fat head. Mm. Uh, but you can't really see it because there's a light on. So, because, you know, I need to see in order to sew so I don't keep pricking my fingers like I usually do. <laughs> okay. We got, like, one viewer. Is that you? I just closed the window. Does that does that change it at all? No, it still says one viewer. Hmm. All right, so here's my progress. I haven't done much. It's just you guys see the white thread, right? I see it. Cool. My neck hurts very much. So is my wrist. That's because I sat on it. <laughs> you know, that reminds me when I was little. There was this, um... God damn it with this fucking fabric. It's really good quality fabric. I'm just sick of dealing with tough fabrics, you know? People say constantly ask me if I really want to do upgrade. I'm like, yes, if I didn't want to leave the right way, then why don't I click on the link? Okay. Okay, so now it says zero viewers. Okay. Yeah, hardly anyone goes on this channel anymore, which is hilarious since I have 50 freaking subscribers who don't pay attention, but whatever. Oh, goodness. It's whatever. No worries. The this shows me nobody really cares. I still have not uploaded. It, it, it's, it's funny. It shows me nobody really cares, you know? <laughs> That's the same reason I left in fiction. Nobody cares. Except well, for a select few who care. And to those people... Yeah, they, which I posted on your final blog, I, not a whole lot of people care about me on fiction, but I still write because I like to write. No, I know. But I'm saying, like... Nobody really pays attention to me anymore, and while I get that they have lives, it still sucks when you have 300 and something subscribe followers on the website, and none of them, when they're on, have the decency to talk to you. When they're mm -hmm. online, which means they have free time available. That makes sense. Oh, pricked my finger. So that's why I left. And I'm going to leave YouTube soon one day. It's just going to be how it is. And I'm going to stick with Twitch. Oh, boy. I, I'm just hoping to one day get, like, a hot podge or a, a Dazzle and, and hook it up to my PlayStation 3 or my Wii U. So that way I can play video games. You got to play. I like my inspiration to Conroy. You're going to hook up what? Uh, 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 either a hot podge or a dazzle. Depends on which one I get first. What does that do? They're, um, I believe they're capturing devices so they can capture, um, things on, like, the television. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, um, a couple of my inspirations, uh, like, uh, the Super Gaming Brothers and the Runaway guys, they have that. And they're, do and they do Let's Plays. I want to do Let's Plays as well. I did a few, but then the Xbox YouTube app just changed itself on me. Mm. But yeah, while I was doing that, I posted things like um, Black Flag, uh, Mortal Kombat. And I think at one point, I posted something from Sunset Overdrive. Mm. Wait, no. 
No, did I? Well, that's something for you viewers to find out if I had any. That's all playback that people can watch. Okay. Our thread is just knotted on itself, so we're going to pull it. We're going to pull it back. There we go. There. Anyways, it's obvious nobody cares at the moment. So, I'm going to see you all in the next video. I might try to figure out how to post a gameplay soon. When I do, you'll probably see something uh, that I have in, stored in my OneDrive, uh, which was me playing as Johnny Cage. Um, yeah. See you guys in the next video. Bye.